buckle up buttercups because we've got a busy day ahead. All of the beverages. Okay, so here's what we have got going on for the day. Let me pull up my schedule. So today we have a few employee meetings. I have a ton of stuff to wrap up for the app. I knew today was going to be bananas. I knew this whole week was going to be bananas. So I did some prep on Sunday. So a lot of stuff that I'm going to eat today is just going to be grab and go, which is great that I was able to plan ahead for that. So I'll show you some of the stuff that I prepped on Sunday throughout the day today. Right now I'm starting off with, well, not really because I already ate once today, but right now I'm having Greek yogurt, cereal, and some little, these little coconut flakes. I'm just loving little coconut flakes. A nice way to add fat to something without it, if you're like, I need something different besides peanut butter, but we're gonna eat, ooh, and they add a little tropical vibes, but we're gonna start with eating this. I did go to the gym this morning. I should just wait to, let me explain and then I'll eat. I went to the gym this morning. Um, I did have my usual, I pretty much always eat granola on the way there. Safe and Fair did come out with their holiday flavors. So I had the chocolate candy cane. Oh, it's so good, you guys. Had that on the way there to give my body some fuel to do the runnings. That's what I did this morning. Uh, and now we're gonna have this because A, I'm feeling kind of hungry and my body could use some protein. My musculars could use some protein. So we're going to eat this. I have a meeting here pretty quickly. So I'm going to multitask as we do this. Sometimes you can't eat without distractions and that's reality. Like I said, today is a race against the clock. Um, I'm going to jot everything down in my planner. We're going to get moving um, with the day. Okay. I've really got to stop talking to you and prep for this meeting. So this is what's going on right now. I'll catch you when I have my actual like breakfast time. This is kind of more of just like a snack to hold me over until I can get there. And like I said, we're multitasking a lot today. Get my heated blanket. Because that's just the reality. Okay, we've got like no time. So with that, I'm going to shut up. You shouldn't say shut up. I'm going to get back to things and I'm going to set you over here and turn you off. And I will catch up with you after all this stuff. so good. Mm. Nailed it. Oh, I keep spilling on myself. At the start of every day, I tell myself I'm not going to get messy. And I always do. I am eating peppermint mocha oats. These are so good. The recipe is a new one in December in the society. It is, like I said, so good. It is a hot oatmeal recipe, but I adjusted it to be an overnight oat recipe. Um, if you're in the society, the notes for this of how to turn it into overnight oats will be um, in the, ooh, the app, which we have an update to. I will show you guys what the recipes are gonna look like in the app. They're so easy. You, I'll put a little screen grab here. You can like flip back and forth between the ingredients and just instruct the destructions, the instructions, any additional notes. It's so seamless. It's going to be so easy. That's what we're eating. I added some whipped topping to it. Could I have added Greek yogurt for a protein? Yeah, but to be completely honest, I don't think it needed it because there's protein powder and some Greek yogurt in the oat recipe themselves. So we've got some protein there. Um, so I just didn't really think I needed it. And I just thought whipped topping sounded good and it's okay to add things just solely for satisfaction. Mm. I also added shredded zucchini. Shredded zucchini is low key really good in overnight oats, you guys. It just adds a little, a little veggie boost. I personally really like the texture of it. It doesn't really add any flavor. So it's just a little way to add a little bit of gents nutrition to your oats. So I've been loving doing that. That's what we've got going on for breakfast. I am ready to eat. I was noticing halfway through my call, I was like, I'm ready for breakfast, but guess what? The name of the game today is you can't always decide when you're gonna eat because 
we got a lot going on today. We've got a lot of schedule. I don't have any more meetings um, until after lunch. My meeting is potentially also going to dictate when I eat lunch because we have to think about when we actually have time. Also like breaks between schedules. Moral of the story is I might not really be the one in charge of when I eat, but the key is marrying that with what you are able to do and managing your schedule. So I am going to quickly finish these and then get back to it because we got a lot to do. But mm, guys, these are so freaking good. I am obsessed with this stuff, you guys. So this is what I'm calling my no chop chili. And it's named that because you don't have to chop anything to make it. So I made a huge batch of this on Sunday. So all I have to do is pop it into a bowl, dress it up a little bit, and we have lunch. You have to pop it in the microwave. It's insanely easy to make, you guys. It takes about like 10 minutes of actual like hands-on time and it's ready in 30 minutes. So here's what you do. Get yourself a big old pot and then drizzle some olive oil, brown a pound of ground meat, add two jars of salsa, a packet of chili seasoning, any kind of beans work, and then a cup of broth or I used bouillon. Simmer for 25 to 30 minutes and you're good to go. And like I said, I have lunch. It's, I love, this is like my favorite thing. And you don't have to chop anything. Like, come on, chili's great, but I hate chopping stuff. So we have our solution. I always microwave, ooh, chair squeaky. I always microwave it and it gets way too hot so I have to use like something to not scorch my hand. Anywho, so we have this heated up. Let me show you what I'm gonna add. So I bought cheddar cheese to shred and put in it, but we made lasagna soup over the weekend and we have this mixture, we have a ton of it left of, it's like ricotta, Parmesan and sweet mozzarella. Parmesan, ricotta, and mozzarella. So I'm just gonna use this because it needs to be done. So I'm gonna just take a nice keeping. Oh, I keep getting my sweatshirt dirty. Ugh. Okay, so we're gonna put that on there and then that's gonna get all nice and melty melty. I'm gonna keep the bowl if I wanna add more. And then I have oyster crackers and we don't have much left in here. Not to worry, we have another bag. So this is what we're gonna have for lunch. I could add, I have green onion that I bought to chop up, but I don't feel like it. Yes, adding stuff like that can add satisfaction, but I just don't care that much right now. And that's also fine. I have a meeting here soon, so I need to get this in my belly. Yeah, that's what we've got. If you are new, I did wanna say, if you're new, obviously I'm all about living with no food rules. A lot of people ask me, well, how can I, eat healthy. I just add these as I go. Um, eat in a health promoting way, not feel guilty, all of those things. I have a full download for you. It's the five questions I ask myself before every meal. If we did that for every single thing I ate today, we'd be here forever. So snag that if you haven't, if you haven't, you've been watching these and you haven't snagged it, be sure you do. It's going to be super helpful. This chair is squeaky. So I, what time is it? I don't know where my phone is. I gotta get moving, so I'm going to get a little cheese, get a little crackers. Mmm. It needs to be hotter. The bowl is misleading. I gotta go put this back in the microwave. None of my crackers are gonna get soggy. This is a hot mess. I gotta go microwave this. <laughs> subject, shall we? That's better. My mom used to always say that. Let's put it a light on the subject, shall we? All right, guys. So I'm grabbing my favorite protein bar. These are a staple for my afternoons because afternoons like today did just got away from me and I have some things that I need to finish up. Let me open this real quick. They make it so difficult a couple things that I need to finish up. So I need something fast. This is why I pretty much lean on these a lot of days because they're fast, they're easy, they're filling. What else did I have this afternoon? I had some chocolate trifle. If you watched my Thanksgiving, my Thanksgiving vlog, I made this trifle recipe and 
It called for four boxes of pudding, which is way too much pudding. I don't know what they were thinking, but I fixed it. Recipe to come. Delicious. So I had some of that. And then I've kind of been looking at these muffins that I've been having sit on my counter all day. Um, I made these, they're Go Nana's, uh, just mini muffins. And I'm kind of like waiting to want one today and I just haven't, so I haven't had one. When you have no food rules, there's no urgency. You don't feel the need to eat all of the things right away. I am going to eat this protein bar, finish some work, walk the dog. Then tonight we're having beef stroganoff. I'm very excited. I need a comfort meal today. Perfectly fitting meals. It's really not a cold day, but you girly. A comfort meal sounds good. So we're gonna have that. I'll show you how I make it. It's super easy, guys. It takes like 25 minutes. Recipes in the society. It's a good one. I saw someone else make it the other day too. It's a good one, but all right. Catch you then. All you have to do is brown some meat. I actually forgot to get beef, so I'm using turkey. Add some onions, saute those up. There's a little olive oil in there as well. Add all the remaining creamy, dreamy ingredients and mushrooms. And then I'm also cooking some egg noodles. Served it with some spaghetti squash. Assemble it, put the creamy goodness on top of the noodles. Top with a little parsley if you wanna get fancy pants and you're set. I just love beef stroganoff. It's so easy. So delicious. My eyes were definitely bigger than my tummy. That typically is the case when I like a meal, but that's okay when you learn to eat with no food rules, you're able to stop when you're satisfied versus yes, it tasted delicious. Could I have kept eating? Yes. Would that have felt good and actually be enjoyable? No. I talk about this topic a lot called the sadness of saying enough, where you essentially have two choices. It's the sadness of being like, oh, I'm full. That's a bummer. There's still delicious food left on my plate. And then also the sadness of, continuing to eat and then being like, I feel like crap for the rest of the night because I'm overly full. You get to decide which one that you choose. Sometimes we're gonna continue eating, sometimes we're gonna stop. <sighs> okay, so I have some, I have a lot of stuff to finish up you guys. Casually sitting here and going to go through 500 questions, quiz questions that are in the app. I'm feeling good right now. We'll see if I want dessert later. I did get the seasonal ice cream flavors from Aldi. We opened the peppermint one, which was delicious. Pepper, it's like peppermint bark. Um, have it open the hot chocolate, but we'll see how I feel later. I have a bunch of stuff that I need to get through tonight. You know what? Let's do it. I'll give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek if you got to the end of this video of the app. This app is gonna be available when the new year starts. You'll be able to start your new year off strong. If you're a current member, we're gonna transition you over ahead of time a little bit, but let me give you the full rundown of it. I'm like nervous to tell you guys. <laughs> I've been working on this for so long. It is a fully customized program, you guys. There is no other program out there. So you're gonna start taking by taking a quiz. You're gonna tell us about your current habits, your hunger and fullness cues, your movement habits. Do you currently still want to lose weight? We're going to meet you where you're at. Everyone's relationship with food is unique. And no matter where you're at, you're welcome to learn to eat with no food rules. It is entirely a weight neutral program. None of that is changing. But I find so often people are like, can make it feel like if you still even want to lose weight, you can't, you kind of like can't sit with us. And I just don't agree with that. What if we just worked on switching your focus from weight to a weight neutral standpoint where we focus on how we feel and not a number at a scale? That is what this app is all about. It's gonna have micro learning. This is a game changer. Every lesson is just gonna be five minutes, super quick, super easy to fit into your day. There's coaching videos that go out every single week. We're gonna talk about body image, nutrition topics like trends. We have one coming on seed cycling. We have the glycemic index. All of those buzzwords that you hear about, we're gonna go over them in the app, as well as things like, what do I do if photos trigger me? More of like the actual day-to-day -day things of improving your relationship with food and body. We have recipes, the beef stroganoffs, a lot of the recipes that I literally make, you guys, you can find them all in the app. Super easy, ready. I showed you I showed you recipes earlier. And then community, arguably one of the best parts of this entire thing is feeling not feeling alone. And that's one of the big draws towards diet culture is it feels good to be a part of something, right? And this is doing that in a way that is allowing you to truly further your health and well-being. Ugh. I just, I was talking about the community earlier today and you guys are just beyond fabulous. We're getting so close, you guys. We're getting so close to 
the app being live. So I'm going to get some stuff done for that. Uh, I hope you guys like this full day of eating. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit subscribe to the channel if you are not, and please leave a comment with whatever you liked about it, something that you learned, a recipe that you want, literally anything at all. The videos that I make more of are the ones that you guys respond to the most, right? I want to make the content that you guys like. So especially with all videos, if you watch this video, make sure that you like it. So I know what kind of videos to make more of for you and be sure over like the next month or so, if you're like, I want to learn more about the app that I've literally has been consuming my life. You'll get lots of sneak peeks in these videos. Um, it's literally all I can think about because it's quite literally taking over all of my time, but in the best way possible. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. And with that, I think I need to go get some water, finish this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll keep you posted if I have dessert, but other than that, I'll see you later. I think we have to